First matchup, Styles P, Good Times versus Kid Cudi, Day and Night. Who do I get a lifeline? That's yeah, you have like, it in your uh, between your fingers. Man, uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> brackets on brackets on brackets. We tryna get to these brackets. We flipping through all of these hits in these classics. Sometimes I don't know which one to pick when it happens. We mixing the match and we listening and tryna get brackets, brackets, complex brackets. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Complex Brackets. I'm your host Brian B. Dot Miller, and today we're joined by a guy whose catalog is filled with songs that make you just wanna kick back and roll one up, or so I've heard. Here to help us crown the greatest weed anthem of all time, please welcome Currency. Spitter, what's good? Oh, man, I'm chilling. Just out here in this California breeze. Oh, man. Beneath these California trees. <laughs> I know that's right. Yo, Spitter, I'm going to be real with you, right? I'm not much of a smoker, but when I say weed anthem, what comes to mind? Memphis Bleak I-95. Oh, I get high. Yeah, legit. That that that's what comes to my mind right now, just off the top. Okay. But you're thinking about a record that you want playing at the initial lighting of the joint, at the ignition point, at ignition point. Right. Everything set up. Bluetooth speaker plugged in. Every, you know what I'm saying? The first few seconds of the intro of the record are done. Bars are already rolling. Like, what record is that? Uh, that is your weed anthem. You know, there are quite a few. There are quite right. a few. Right. They are. Okay, Spitter, well, we put together this bracket of weed anthems, and you're the expert on this category, so you can help us crown the best one. You ready to get it bracket? Let's do this, let's do this. All right, bet. The first matchup we have, Styles P, Good Times versus Cypress Hill, Hits from the Bomb. Jeez, Louise, you put two of my, like, <laughs> like these are the big homies. Right. I don't know, you know, have you ever seen the big homies fight? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? this is it. It's like, I just walked outside, and the two big homies are about to fucking square. <laughs> Damn. They're both classics. But honestly, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about which one has has made its way into my site, my sessions the most. Okay. I'm gonna have to tip that hat to uh the ghost. Okay, Styles P, on to the next round. Spitter, how you feel about this matchup? Devin the Dude, Doobie Astray versus Missy Elliott, past the Dutch. Doobie Ashtray is of gospel hymn stature. <laughs> and much, much respect to the great Missy Elliott. Of course. But I don't know how many times, you know what I'm saying, I rolled up and jammed right. Missy. So, uh, Doobie Ashtray, come on, man. It's Devin the Dude, bro. What is it about that record? Even if you don't smoke, it makes you want to smoke. So, he's talking about basic life problems. And then on top of that, somebody had the nerve <laughs> to take his out of the doobie ashtray so he doesn't even have what he needs to cope with the other shit that's, that he's dealing with outside in the world. Right. So some people who don't even smoke, they just fuck with it because they're like, yo, I don't know, you were rapping about cereal. And <laughs> but it was the weed that made me talk about the cereal. It's the weed, <laughs> man. Well, hey, what do you say? Devin, the dude's going on to the next round. Having the dude moves on in the next round, he advances. Absolutely. How do you feel about Kid Cudi, Day and Night versus Young Thug Stoner? Again, bro, <laughs> relatability. Yes. And Cudi was talking about shit not like being so sweet mm, for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And still, and still pressing on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it up. To, to Kid Cudi, for sure. He advances to the next round. Okay. The Lonely Stoner is going on to the next. How do you feel about Wiz Khalifa, Rick Gross, and Currency Super High versus Currency Breakfast? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going against yourself, Spitter. Yeah, well, shit, man. Wow, bro. What was on your mind when you were making breakfast? The fact that fucking uh, most deaf was chopping samples up for that beat. Mm. Most deaf was standing at a, at a fucking desk with a one rocket speaker that was plugged up to a computer and a little a beat machine that somebody else was doing some shit with. And he just starts fucking fucking around. I'm like, oh yeah, that's it right there. And then bam, we, we made the record. Wow. Right? So, but what about so, Super High? Because that was Rick Ross's song. And, and, and here's this. Here's this. 
I've I've always held Rick Ross in high regard for his music talent and like on the court and off the court. Right. Would, would he, you know what I'm saying? So when he reach out like, bam, we need to do this record. That's that's huge. So which way are you gonna go, currency? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go with breakfast, man. Oh, breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Ricky and 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 and, and Wiz, man, we'll 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 kick it. <laughs> Yeah, they'll be okay. At the end of the day, you're playing yourself. And currency, breakfast going on yeah, to the next yeah, round. Yeah, it's the day I played myself. <laughs> uh, Spitter, this is getting kind of tough. How do you feel about Luna's I Got Five on it versus Afro Man because I got high? <laughs> Afro Man have some hard records that I like, and people don't know about those records. I'm going to have to run with the Luna's I Got Five on it because that song stood the test of time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure. We're gonna have to okay. we gonna have to link over there to the loonies. I got five on it. All right, for the, sure. The loonies is on to the next round. Next up we have Crucial Conflict Hey versus Red Man and Method Man How I remix. Crucial Conflict's Hey record was a hard record. Yeah. But the tempo and that flow is not for smoking weed and like <laughs> When I'm getting high, I don't wanna be like <laughs> like, like they was chopping and they those are legends you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah just, yeah we're gonna have to go with method man and red man how high bro all right red man method man how high remix slides to the left how do you feel about dr dre next episode versus scarface mary jane what do you feel about next episode currency because it's definitely one of the best videos yeah honestly I'm, there, there was a million low riders <laughs> um, a million and plus I, girls yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't think around it. But to me, it feels it's, like that's not necessarily like a weed song, but it has those elements to it. You know what I mean? As I'm thinking, baseline wise and, and everything, Scarface's Mary Joint is actually better smoking anthem if they out of those two mm, records. Right. I go with Scarface. All Mary, right, bet. Sure. Scarface Mary Jane going to the next round. It's where you mentioned it earlier. Memphis Bleak, I Get High versus 50 Cent, High All The Time. <laughs> oh, well, look, this is pretty easy because what I recall, 50 Cent was like not really into weed. So Spitter, when a person like 50 Cent's not really a big weed smoker, does that diminish the song to you a little bit? Yeah, because because I don't, all right, you know, I'm not rapping about getting shot nine times because <laughs> it can happen. Right. So I want 50 Cent fucking telling me about the weed that he's not smoking because he didn't really smoke it. We're going I-95. That's the first thing I said. I didn't even know that he was in the bracket. Yeah. I see him being tough to beat. Spit, I have a question. What is it about this record that resonates so much with you? The narration hmm. of a person being in the car and and just floating around the city the joint you know you got you got a cool set of legs with you, <laughs> you know? and he spoke he spoke about it all right and it made me it made me feel like i was in my car right you know what i'm saying i think a lot of people felt like that man uh, everybody jammed that record absolutely shout out to bleak man i get high hey. goes on to the next round so there we have it our elite eight all right, Spitter, right now is a portion of the show where we got to shout out some honorable mentions. Weed anthems that didn't quite make the cut. Songs like Red Man, How to Roll a Blunt, Drawn Broccoli, Birdman, Little Wayne, Cali Dro, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Weed Song, and of course, Gangstar, Take Two and Pass. Currency, are there any of the classics that come to mind that we didn't talk about? It was a few more Bone Thugs records, um, mm. like Buds Only. Right. And Spilling Herb. Right. I was thinking about Jay Z, La La, or feeling it. Feeling it for sure. Okay. Um, La La is that? That's the bear. Well, 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 well. Please be smoking that La La. That's not for smoking that La La. <laughs> that's that's just a good song. Gotcha. And he happened to say that they were smoking, but that's not for smoke. But um, shame on on all of us for not having outcast crumbling herb. Ah, uh, how can we forget that? Shame on us. I right, bet, let's get into our lead eight. First matchup, Styles P, Good Times versus Devin Adu, Doobie Ashtray. What's going through your mind right now? Which one of these guys is gonna call me because I didn't <laughs> pick them? <laughs> 
man. Okay, bro. Let's think about impact, relevancy. They both mm. carry so much weight in both of those categories. Right. But you have to look different places to see it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. We're going to have damn. We're going to have to go. Ah, it's hurting me in the spot. <laughs> We're going to have to go with the ghost. Oh, ah. I got to go with the ghost. Good times. Over the doobie ass train. Oh, man. This is hurting. Currency's hard. It is back. But good times. On to the next round. Spitter, how do you feel about Kid Cuddy day and night versus yourself breakfast? Here's my chance to to not have to not have to deal with that anymore. I think I gracefully um, step out of the race okay. to spend time with my family <laughs> and uh, raise raise my kid and drive my cars. I just got a new puppy also. Oh, nice. So I'm trying to get him acclimated to the yard where the rest of the dogs are, so that he doesn't piss anybody off and and get get chewed up <laughs> so, uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna step out we're gonna step out and i'm gonna let i'm gonna let the kid keep going okay let's, well let's let the kid cut it you got a new puppy and payback is a dog so kid cutty <laughs> on to the next round all right this matchup loonies i got five on it versus red man and method man how high remix another tough one I just think about when I think of the High High remix, I remember when they were like Beavis and Butthead in the video and then they had the ice cream truck with the guy on the top. Yeah, the ice cream truck is from uh, the Cheech and Chong movie, Nice Dreams. Right. And they were driving around in the ice cream truck, but they were really selling weed. Right. I'm going to have to run with the loonies. Wow. I got five on it because it's it's timeless. Yeah. And, and it also, I mean, and it still resonates even at a time where putting five dollars in on a bud purchase is nothing <laughs> i can't believe that was actually a thing once upon a time right it was just like the one homie in the bay had the good weed <laughs> and they would go and get it and possibly give him twenty dollars yeah and four people would participate in it okay loonies on to the next round how do you feel about scarface mary jane versus memphis bleak i get high Man, H Town, I I really love you guys, and I didn't mean I didn't mean to swipe Devin the dude off the board so fast, and then to follow up and just sw swipe Scarface <laughs> off the board. Um, that sounds I hope, crazy. I hope that everybody in H Town still knows, you know, how I feel. Yes. And um, I'll pull up to Active Athlete soon and get some shoes. Uh, smoke these guys <laughs> out. Parking lot at the Galleria. Uh, I'll pull up to uh, Johnny Dang's and get a chain or something. <laughs> you know? But yeah, Memphis Bleak advances to the next round. Man, I think Jay Prince is calling your phone right now, Spitter. Oh, man. Well, Memphis Bleak, I get eyes going on to the next round. And there we have our final four. Now, currency, a lot of these weed anthems are like love ballads to marijuana. And some people like to smoke the songs that aren't even about weed. Like when you about to light up, what songs are you listening to? Oh, uh, man. After the Dance by Marvin Gaye, the instrumental version. Mm. Don't Let Nobody Get You Down by War. Mm. These are songs that, that, that if you don't know them yet, like, please listen to them when we're done, bro. Yeah. Give Me Your Love from the Superfly soundtrack by Curtis Mayfield. Okay. It's, it's number one. That's the record that Snoop is listening to in the background on the intro of Doggy Style. Oh, wow. Okay. Outside of that, I listen to Playboy, Cardi, Fucking dial lit intro. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. It's crazy. A crazy jump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the ones I was saying to that, but the feeling is the same. Okay. Well, the feelings are important. Now let's get into our yeah. final four. First matchup Styles P, Good Times versus Kick Cuddy, Day and Night. Now, this is tough because they both, they both have en enjoyed the same success, like the same impact. At home in the club. Facts. Who do I get a lifeline or something? <laughs> yeah, you have it in your uh, between your fingers. Man, uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> We're going with the ghost. Styles P, good times goes on to the final round. Who would have thought? Ghost. Loonies oh. versus Memphis Bleak. How did y'all do this? <laughs> You did it. We didn't do it, Spitter. I'm just a humble game show host. 
What I want to know, Spider, if someone said right now that I got five on it, what would you do? Just you know, throw their money back at them? I would. I would laugh. <laughs> I would. I would ask, what did they have the five on? Do they mean five <laughs> hundred? You know, like what? What exactly are you talking about? But oh, the loonies. I could hear it at a smoker at at like a, a in a sample tent. Mm. At a smoke convention, right? At a festival where there's like all kind of different <laughs> cannabis brands and all that True. shit. I could I could hear that playing in there, but I I wouldn't hear it in my car. Mm. So man, you you def it was tough, but I'm gonna have to run with Memphis Bleak for sure. Wow, it's the first record I mentioned. You know, what you I'm did, saying? and 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 the, and the Bay Area knows how I feel. Hell, the loonies know how I feel. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But but shit, man. I'm gonna have to run with, with what's in my car. Now that doesn't mean that anybody in the base should take my music out of their cars. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 if you haven't heard Memphis Bleak I know, you know, give give it a give it a shot. In fact, don't ask why. But Bleak is getting high to the next round. There we have it, our final round, our final matchup. Now, Spiller, there's a lot of songs that are dedicated to people's indulgences. I think about uh, Snoop Dogg's Gin and Juice, that comes to mind. And even there's songs about pills and lean. But when it comes to weed, it doesn't really have that stigma attached to it. Why do you think that is? Because weed is universal, it brings people together. People that at work that are pissed mm -hmm. at being at their jobs, they end up becoming friends outside of the job, like behind the dumpster, because they smell one of their coworkers smoking the joint, <laughs> and they're like, you know, get down, and then they become friends. But you'd be surprised in some of the stuffiest rooms, the waspiest areas, a lot of people just want to smoke a joint. Right. What's your favorite strain? My own, Andretti OG, uh, Jetlag, Jets, and a few others that we have yet to name because I'm too busy smoking them and I keep forgetting <laughs> central name. This is the only time it's okay to get high on your own supply. I, yeah, yeah, this is the only time that you can ignore the rule that Frank told Tony. Uh, <laughs> you can't get high off your own supply, but when I, when, when I step outside of my own brand, I don't know if you ever saw Michael Jordan in Adidas slides, but but maybe it's happened. But in, in the instance of that happening, um, I'll uh I'll roll the joint uh of my brother Wiz's strain. Okay. Um, and 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 my good buddy Burner has multiple oh. flavors. Um Facts. Well Spitter, we've been through 16, but now it's to the final round. And we have Styles P Good Times versus Memphis Bleak. I get high. Ghost, you know you my big bro. <laughs> you know, you know you can call me. Yes. And we smoke, we can smoke this off. It's no big deal, um, but I'm gonna have to take you off the shelf. Wow! Again, I'm thinking about my car. Right. And I think Ghost will understand the underground soul Ooh. within me. Um, kind of shies away from good times Ooh. because it got too big. It's too commercial. Oh. Okay. It it's too successful. And I think Ghost mm. understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like. Everybody knows the words, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Like the Memphis Bleak record, if you know, you know. Right. So I'm gonna run with Memphis Bleak. And there you have it with the biggest upset in complex brackets history. According to Currency Hot Spitter, Memphis Bleak, I Get High is the greatest weed anthem of all time. Can I, can we break the fourth wall? Can I ask <laughs> like amongst the staff and everyone like, uh, who who were you guys? What were your predictions? Who 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 was your favorite? I'll be honest with you, Spitter. There were some people in the building that didn't even want to include Memphis Bleak on this bracket. That's what I said. That's some hater shit. That's some. <laughs> that is some high school bullshit. Just like, oh no, we, we don't like him. Like, how come? Because somebody else told you that. Right. Fuck that. We're running with that. Nah, man. No. 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 And look at that. He won. Now, Currency, you contributed a lot to the style of stoner smoker rap. Did you realize you're gonna have such an impact? No, um, I was just happy that I was rapping about what I was actually into and what I was doing. Before we get out of here, Spitter, Collection Agency is one of the best albums of 2021. I've told you that many of times. What else do you have? It, 
<laughs> Listen, make sure that this is one of the um one of the elements that you guys send out with for for, for people to post <laughs> to promote this episode is you saying yes what you just said okay collection agency i mean come on a song like jermaine dupri i mean are you kidding me all right do you know the weight that you carry when you say things like that you know who you are oh in this game oh my you know gosh. what i'm saying you know like all right i just wanted to adjust your fit a bit you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it seemed like you didn't know i appreciate yeah. that splitter but what else you got coming i'm hopefully he's got some you and larry june you and cardo yes, yes, yes. Me and Larry June, Tuck, we got that. Uh, me and Alchemist are in the lab today. Me and Alchemist have not titled our project yet, but it's pretty much done. Oh, man. Of course, I'm going to tell you, you know, I, I'll tell you, me and Larry for sure got one on there. I'm looking forward to that. You're going to hear Larry on some Alchemist shit, yep. so, you know, don't trip. Uh, and that, that's that, bro. That, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm going when we're done. Right. Man, and the record you did with Jim Jones as well, it's one of the best of the year. We gotta shoot. We gotta shoot this down. We shot the video. I'm waiting on him to put that shit out. <laughs> uh, Jim, in case you forgot, you you shot a video with us in Miami. Um, go through your email, upload it to fucking YouTube, brother. <laughs> we want to see it. Right. We definitely want to see yeah. it. We want to see more of you in 2021. Spit. I appreciate you coming through and uh, helping us crown the best weed anthem of all time. Hey man, smoke one for Memphis Bleak, man. Yes, sir. Yo, I want to thank my guest, Currency, for joining us on this week's episode of Complex Brackets and helping us crown the greatest weed anthem of all time. But what do you think? Did we get it right? Check out the description below where you'll find a playable link to this exact bracket. Just make sure you share your results using the hashtag Complex Brackets on all social platforms. I'll catch y'all next week. I'm Brian B. Miller. Brack up! <laughs>